Okay, Continu continuing my list, um, this is number 42 uh, that came in as my favorite movie of, <coughs> excuse me, of 2023. Uh, it is No Hard Feelings with uh, Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, I thought this movie would be a lot funnier. Uh, from the trailer, it looked hilarious. I honestly was like, wow. This might be the best comedy of 2023. Now, was that really Jennifer Lawrence naked? Or was that a body double? We will never know. But uh, it did have some funny moments. I think she did really good in it. Uh, I think she should do a lot more comedy movies. Because uh, I, I had fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, but... Uh, I did not laugh as much as I did as another movie that's on my list that I'm going to talk about here in a little bit. But No Hard Feelings, I had fun. It was funny. Jennifer Lawrence was really good at it. Uh, number 41 is The Last Voyage of the Demeter, which is the backstory of Dracula making the trip over to the UK and... Uh, Dracula looked awesome. Like, the bat creature looked amazing. Uh, I... I didn't think it was bad. I, 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 I didn't know what to expect. I mean, it's a... You're on a... They're on a boat. You're... They're, they're shipping Dracula over the ocean. So, I mean, there's... I didn't know what people expected, but... I thought the special effects was great. I thought Dracula looked great. They definitely left it off, but I think it bombed in the box office, so I don't think they're going to do another one. So, but, but, you know, the special effects was pretty cool. Uh, number 40 was Mario. Now, uh, I, I, I would grew up with Nintendo, grew up with Mario. Mario looked great. The animation was fantastic. Uh, it's just way down on my list because there was other movies that I really enjoyed more than Mario because it's an animated movie. But just because it's an animated movie, I mean, there's some animated movies that had been in my top five, top ten before. Um, but Chris Pratt did a great job voicing Mario. I can't wait to go back to that world. Um, I'm hoping they include more stuff uh, from, like, Super Mario Brother 2 and Super Mario Brother 3. So that movie made so much money. So... They will definitely be doing a sequel to Mario, uh, which I think they're going to be doing a Super Smash Brothers. So they might be tackling that next. But Mario was a really fun movie. Uh, number, number, excuse me, I had to count five on my list. So number thirty-nine is Meg Two with Jason Statham. Now I, I thought it was a stupid, fun shark movie which I just kind of like you just went in with low expectations but I actually came out of it and I was like this is actually pretty good like the shark was awesome it was scary when they had multiple sharks I was like when you're down in the ocean and it was dark I found myself jumping quite a bit in this movie but yeah it was fun I enjoyed it better than the first one and yeah what else are you going to say it's the Meg and then the last one on my list, number 38, is The Creator. I love John David Washington. I think he was great in this. I know I saw this after work, and I know I, I fell asleep through at least 15 or 20 minutes in the movie, but I saw pretty much about 95% of this movie. I thought the special effects was great. Uh, the ending would it tears your heart apart. I had no idea, like I told my coworkers, I had no idea I was going to have my heart and emotions torn out at like 1 or one thirty in the morning because I think it let out at one thirty, And I was just like, wow. Um, the tank scene was pretty cool if you've seen The Creator. It's a kind of cool science fiction movie, but it's very confusing. Do not watch it while you're like super tired because you get lost i'm still trying to understand the movie but it had some really cool stuff in the movie and john david washington that i really enjoyed this movie 